Hi, I'm Justin. In today's video demonstration, we're going to be going over what it looks like to deploy the updates we published with the Patch My PC SCUP catalog with System Center Configuration Manager 2012. Now, I've already published 13 demo updates from our catalog, and I've already synchronized the System Center update point. So if I look, I can see my 13 updates showing in my All Software Updates section. I can see that I get the results from clients that have scanned in. Now I only have one client in my environment, so I can see that there's a total of one required. Now my one client, it has older versions of all these applications, so I can see that everything is required. Um, all these apps that we publish are all required for that one machine. Now I went ahead and already selected all of these updates, and I created a software update group that we can use to deploy to a group of machines and I've already downloaded these updates into a deployment package. So if I go ahead and click deploy, I'll call this SCUP updates. Patch my PC catalog. For the collection, I'm going to choose all desktop and server clients since that only has my one machine anyways. And next. I'm going to make this an available deployment just so we can see it and interact with all the updates, but you can make this required and you can make this hidden just like you could any other updates that you deploy with Configuration Manager. I'm going to choose the option to show all notifications. I'll leave the defaults for alerts, the defaults for download settings, and I'll go ahead and deploy. Okay. Now this may take a minute for my client over here to see these updates, so I'll go ahead and pause the video while I wait for it to scan against that. Okay, so we're back, and we can see that this machine has a lot of outdated titles for those 13 applications that we published. And you can also see I got this new notification saying I have new software available to me. So if we look here, we can see that this is all of the updates that were in that update group that we deployed from the Patch My PC catalog. So I'll go ahead and select all of these, and then I'll choose Install. And at this point, it's really handled just like any other update through uh, Configuration Manager. So we can see Shockwave just went. So we were at version 12.0.9, and now we're at 12.1.1. Looks like Adobe Air was updated version 13 from version 4. We can see that here. We're updating iTunes to version 11.1.5 from version 11.0.5. Okay, looks like iTunes just finished. So if I refresh that, I can see that we were updated to version 11.1.5. Now we're installing Apple application support 3.0.1. The current version is 2.2.2. Looks like this one does require a restart, but it did successfully install. Now we're doing Apple mobile device support version 7.1. So if we look back, we can see we currently have 6.1 that was successfully installed. Then we have mobile device support here. So now we're installing FileZilla 3.8.0 from version 3.7.1. I can see that that was successful. Now we're installing Java 7 update 55 64 bit. Currently we have version 51, 64 bit installed. That was successful. So we can see we went up to version uh, update 55. Now we're installing Java 7 update 55, the x86 version. We can see the current version is update 25 that's installed.
that was successful. So we can see we have version 55. We're installing Google Earth 7.1.2. We currently have version 7.1.1. And that was successful. Now we're installing Google Chrome version 34. Now since this is the enterprise, the version add and remove program shows up a little differently. Um, but we can see it's 65.130.49. And we successfully updated that to 65.205. Now we're installing Foxit Reader 6.20. We currently have 6.1.2. Okay, and that was successful as well. So now we're updating Notepad to version 6.6.1 from version 6.4.3. We can see that was successful. And then we're working on VLC. So version 2.1.3 from 2.1.2, and we can refresh and see that that was successful. Now, since uh, Apple application support did require a restart, um, you can see the normal notifications that you may or may not give the users will show up here. Um, so that's what it looks like on our client end from the updates that we published. So I hope that you see how the catalog can help you ease the third-party patch management because you won't have to create individual applications and packages and collections for deploying that. All the logic is built into our catalog updates.